सेकेंड डिटर्मिना इज demonstrative means we are with gestures with actions we are just pointing out a noun or noun phrase or sometimes nouns okay what is it this pen right this pen is better than that pen this pen is better than that pen this pen is mine Mm -hmm. that pen is not mine means with action i'm just pointing out nouns and their pens right so if i say this pen and if i say that pen what do you see we can deduce that this and that are used for singular countable noun singular not plural right and if i say these pens and those pens these pens and those pens what difference do you find these and those they are followed by plural noun pens this is pen this is pens this is pen this is pens so these pens and those pens so this pen and that pen for singular singularity and this is for plurality right so these pens those pens and one more difference is there this and these they express something in vicinity means nearby right this pen these pens this pen this pen this pen these pens but if i am talking about that pen those pens are mine that pen is not mine those pens are mine so in this way the that and those are used for far off things comparatively far off things right and this and these are ex, are used to express vicinity means nearby nouns nearby position right so they are demonstrative determiners have you got next you can see articles demonstrative then possessive possessive means whose means all the words that are used as an answer to the question or question beginning with whose are known as possessive determiners possessive adjectives right see this so what to write this is look this is my pen whose pen my pen but can we write this pen is my of course not it looks odd so what is the suitable most suitable word in connection with my then we can say this pen is mine and this is my pen what is the difference dear students this mine is possessive pronoun right not possessive adjective but this is my pen this is possessive adjective so this is possessive determiner right generally you should know that determiners are adjectives themselves okay so this is my pen my pen our pen your pen this his pen her pen their pen right this pen 
is mine and its color whose color its color so its is also possessive determiner right but when we are using them after the noun means what i told you determiners or adjectives are always used before noun not after that right before noun so my pen pen is noun and before that but when we are using this pen is there and blank is given after the blank after this pen so what to say mine not my so possessive pronouns are my into mine our into ours your into yours his into his his same her into hers their into theirs t h e i r and t h e i r s right and it's as it is got it so in this way students this is possessive determiner let me write my our means first person my our second person your third person singular his third person singular feminine her third person plural there right but we can say it's also so they all are possessive got it students next next determiner is quantifier right means we are talking about quantity and quantity is always reflected through how many and how much right how many or how much these are some question words and when we are getting answers to the question beginning with how many or how much we use we use certain words like how many boys were standing some boys were standing some any much some any much many little few all whole lots of a lot of right so so many are there look some boys are standing outside hmm i have some problems some questions to put up right any which pen do you want mm, i want any pen any pen will do right any much any is used for interrogative and negative sentences much how much i think 2 kg 2 liter right many express through numbers 1 2 3 4 how many boys were there in the classroom we can say five boys six boys right many little little is used to express uncountable quantity right we can say little a little and the little right very very uncomfortable quantity of milk we use little milk right little milk was left for preparing tea so we can say that quantity of milk was not enough so we say little milk but if you say a little milk so i need a little milk to prepare one cup of tea a little and the little the little money he had he squandered it all on gambling the little milk right so in this way little is used for uncountables and few used for countables like few a few the few yes he has 
few friends means almost none so man with few friends is like god or beast so he has few friends means almost none and if i say he has only a few friends not many and if i say the few friends he had dished him in the end so we can say the few right all and whole all is used for countables and whole is used for uncountables okay students so all all boys right boys are countable so all boys plural countable right whole whole is used for uncountable whole world we can never say all world we can never say whole boys no whole class but all boys right so in this way dear students this quantitative ya yeah, quantifier determiner is over right and the next one is number a numerative we may call number and there are two kinds of numbers one is cardinal number and second one is ordinal number right look the magic cardinal they both are numbers but still the difference is cardinal number is used to express quantity right to measure the quantity this cardinal number but ordinal number is used to refer which one fourth let me write one two three etc etc right and this first second third and so on can you see one boy how many boys are coming tomorrow so only one boy one right two boys are coming Three boys are coming. How many? Three boys. Two boys. Ten boys. So, cardinal numbers is used. Cardinal numbers are used to refer quantity that can be measured, right? And ordinal numbers are used to refer what or who. So, that is who came. That boys. That first boy came. the last boy stood first the second boy stood third in the class so in this way this is first second third so dear students overall these determiners are used in the form of adjectives before nouns before noun or noun phrase right a lot of a lot of problems we can see so in this way this determiners topic is complete and i hope you all might have got them right so let me ask you some questions right let me ask you some questions see how they are he has
okay don't be shocked just have a look in the first sentence instruction is you have to fill this given blank space with article suitable article article means a uh, and the or uh, if you don't feel like using any any of these then you may go for cross no article right so he has and unique pen no because the sound is here singular countable here sound is there and that is of consonant so we will not use and we will use a right a unique pen no doubt it begins with a vowel but it doesn't give the sound of a vowel next and apples and they keep the doctor away it looks odd right isn't it so find out errors in this sentence how many errors are there or if one then make correction yes find out find out i think this is apple and apples no and is used for singular countable so an apple and this is day the so this is of consonant so oh uh, this is the sound is that of a vowel and this sound is that of a consonant so an apple a day and the sentence is using singular noun so we use keeps in present indefinite tense keeps s o e s is added to the first form of the verb when the subject is singular right keeps the doctor away in this way dear students this is complete okay so i hope you all might have got it and still if you come across any doubt any confusion you may sort it out with me i am always ready we are always ready to sort out your doubts anytime right but the thing is you should be you should concentrate on your studies especially during this pandemic when most of the students education is education pattern studying pattern is different now right so let me express my best wishes to you and see you some other day some other time with with your doubts or with some other topic till then have a nice time have a nice moment moments ahead enjoy yourself thank you